yeah, that's gonna work. We have these Reliance Aquatainers. There's seven gallons. And the way that we built our storage under our bed in the back, it comes right up here. So what I want to be able to do is I want to have the water, when it, this is the extra jug. When it's stored in the back, I want to be able to have a separate place to be able to open, open it up and top it off or drop a hose in there with my water pump and pump water out without taking the jug out. So what I did is I found this. This is just a, a little plastic, I think it's polyethylene, little extra, little extra tap that you can put onto like a 55 gallon barrel and it has a, has a washer or has a seal and it's actually reverse thread so you go instead of righty tighty it's lefty tighty on this one and the reason for that is there's an inner thread as well, so I found this kind of brass little plumbing little cap that's also threaded perfectly for the, the inside that is normal threaded. So this turns right to tighten. And I got a little rubber seal there too. So once it's in there, when you twist this to the right, it'll tighten it, but it won't, because this is reverse thread, it won't make this go undone. So what I'm going to do, I've started already, I'm going to cut a hole here. I'm going to cut a hole there and then fish the bottom of this through the opening, through the opening and then have it come out the top and I'm going to be able to lock this onto this new hole and I'll have an extra spout to be able to retrieve, pull water, or pull water in. That's what I'm gonna do. So I already did one, so I'm doing the second one. One's gonna go in here. So this is our water. This is our water system. So you can see I've already done this here. So this is nice too, because our water system pulls the uh, water out of the, the original opening, but when I have to fill it, I have to take it out. By having this extra one on the side, I no longer have to take out that water jug if I just want to top it off with like a bottle of water or something. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one, to this one that I did over there. Um, although it serves a different purpose. This is to be able to fill it. This is to be able to access it without taking... Actually, I guess it's the same. I, I want to be able to access it without having to undo the primary opening. So I just traced out the uh, outer diameter of this so I can attempt to cut as close of a hole as possible. Okay, that's off, so I'm just gonna try to open that wider and wider until this fits through there perfectly. I'm gonna get a lot of shavings in there, so I'm gonna have to wash it out before I'm able to use this jug again. Probably a better way to do this without getting a bunch of plastic shavings in there. So if you have a better idea about how that could be done, maybe do it upside down. I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you have a better idea for, for not getting shavings in there. Yeah, that's gonna work. 
So I gotta now I gotta do this from the inside. So to do this from the inside, I'm going to use uh use this. I just have this little rope with my little carabiner on it. So all I'm gonna do is feed this through this way. Feed it through this way. And then try to fish this through here. Okay. So now I can just feed this whole thing in because this is bigger than the hole. It's not gonna get stuck. And then I can do my best to try to pull this out. Okay, so now that's that's in there from the inside, I can just pull this through and this will come out. And then because there's a seal on the inside, I can do reverse thread this on. I should grab it from the inside. There. So now that's on there. This is how I close it. Now I got a second fill spot for this seven gallon Reliance Aquatainer. That's sealed and it won't leak. This is our spare jug that we keep back here. Because it's so tight to the bottom of our bed, I can't open this this cap while this is in here. So now with this extra spell, I can thread it open, keep the jug where it is. I can put this hose in, which will act as a as a hose that pulls water with our portable pump over here. Access that water. We can fill it with some warm water or if it's a hot day we can use this to rinse stuff off shower and this is on top of having our road shower up there the other one which is the water jug that we're currently using for our fresh water connected to our tap as you can see this hose is connecting from the cap to our tap so if we want to fill this jug before I have to disconnect this take it all out but now I can just take out this funnel Open this brass cap without having to take out the jug. To see exactly how full this jug is, it's actually pretty easy. If you just shine the light in here, you can see the water level. That's it. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you guys want to do something like this for your water jugs, I can put links to this stuff in the uh, descriptions below on Amazon and also uh, links to maybe Home Depot Lowe's if you can find stuff like this.